good afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you joining us today. Um, good, uh, good Tuesday coming off a of bye. I think our, our players did really a job of handling the bye week. It's, it's kind of odd to have it that that early, but nonetheless, um, you know, we, we take full advantage of that when we can get it. And um, so we worked on a lot of things. There's a lot of things we had to improve on coming out of the first two games as, as a team that we've identified for our guys, and they took the right approach last week. We, we, we had some really good practices, got better. Um, you know, a couple guys that maybe dinged up here or there took, took advantage of the treatment and, and rest time, and, uh, you know, now we're, we're into a, a game week, and, you know, we got Central Florida coming in here at home this weekend. They're, they're a really good football team. That, uh, as everyone knows, they've only played one game because of the uh, – due to the weather conditions down there. So, you know, there's, there's one game of film on it, but, but I can tell you this, I, I know that they're, they're a really talented team from playing them last year. They're really well coached. I know they're, they're miles ahead of what they were a year ago when we played them. Um, you know, as are we, and uh, so you know, we expect a, a great challenge here this weekend. Our, our players are looking forward to it. Um, so, with that, any questions? And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24/7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. I don't think even those terms. I don't know. It is different season, different guys. You know, um, they have they have a lot of guys playing that played last year, but those guys are all a year better. As are our guys. You know, with experience, you get better. I know their, their quarterback's doing a really good job. He, uh, he looks like he feels really comfortable um, running their offense. Um, we've been able to watch a lot of film on them since the time we played them a year ago because that, that was early in the season. And you know, so I I, I don't know about. Measuring or, or whatnot, I, I do know this: that they're they're an extremely talented team. They're, they're, they'll be one of the most talented teams we, we can play, and um, you know, so we'll just um, prepare like 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 we know how, and and, and understand we got to come out ready to play and, and, and play our our best ball game. We want to get better every week, so we've had two games. We, we want this one to be the best one we play. DJ, a year ago you said that the best win that win was a program builder, and probably just in the way you guys won that game in overtime, but. Uh, Scott Processor is just saying how similar he sees kind of the two programs and being in their second year and um, just the player development. Um, have you, do you see similarities in just watching them or just how they've come along in the past year to, to what you guys have done here? I, I mean, I think, you know, just watching on tape, Scott's doing a tremendous job there. They're, they're, you can tell the team that they play really hard and they, they got good athletes, they play fast, they play hard. You tell that they're bought into what's going on. I think um, in, in all three phases of the game, I mean, there's not. You know, when you watch offense, defense, special teams, it, it shows up everywhere. Those guys are really playing hard. Or you know, they, they know what they're doing. They're sound. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's um, it's a great challenge for our guys in all three phases. I, I think I, it's good. I, I, I you know, as a competitor, as a team, I think, I think you want that. You want those types of challenges. So we, we know we got to have a great week of practice and, and, and be on our game on Saturday. Coach, just straight ahead, DJ Moore. Uh, what makes him as so good? Uh, I know I know he has good work ethic. He probably has good hands. A little bit lucid. Is it all those qualities? What uh, have you seen from him that makes him so special? I think you know you, you can. You know, as you watch it, you can see his talent and his ability. I think mean, that's that's pretty clear, and it's obviously that that's a big part of it. I, I think what makes him special to me is is how he works and and just what he does. I mean, you know, you guys are all familiar with our, with our Champions Club. Um, he's been a champion every quarter since we've been here. He's the only guy on the team. He's been been in the Champions Club every single quarter. So, I mean, that 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 to me, in, in our terms, as we define it as a program, speaks to his level of, of work ethic, accountability. Um, all, all the things we talk about as a program. So he's he's the model guy for that. And and so I think that's where you see that carry over and why he's able to, to play at the level he plays at. Uh, DJ, 
DJ, you talk about having an early buy. Do you do things any differently, maybe having the buy week in week three versus maybe say week seven or week eight? Um, you know, especially with the hot start you have for that. Yeah, it, you know, it is it is different because you, if, if you got to buy it, you know, mid season to to run that third quarter of the season, you, there's, you, you usually more snaps on guys, so there's more time to may, maybe rest and, and take some off them. We're not in that spot right now. You know, like I said, it, it, so it, it was an individualized plan. I mean, there, there were certain guys that we felt needed that from where they are, and so we managed their reps the right way. But as a team, we need to keep keep practicing and getting better and improve. And, um, you know, our, our guys, uh, they did a good job of that. I mean, they understood it. We, we explained the why to them, why we're doing what we're doing, and I think they understand. And, and just as a quick follow-up, uh, you look at UCF, you know, they're, they're going to have two weeks off because of the hurricane. Have you ever been in a situation like that? Uh, ne no, never been. That's you know, it's a unique situation. And, um, not been, you know, probably a lot like going into your first game again. You know, you're in training camp and getting ready for your first game. Coach, have you talked about the growth of Andrew Isaacs as a Russian? Uh, and Andrew's done it. You know, a terrific job. Change positions. It was something we approached him about really late last season. He came over and did a little bit, not in games and all that, but it was kind of just just looking forward. Um, we really felt like Andrew's a guy that works really hard. He, he's accountable. He's about all the right things. We thought it was his best opportunity to get on the field and help the team. He embraced it to his credit and has done really good throughout spring. And, and, I, and his his reps, so I think, will keep you know keep going up as as we go. He's you know he's very um, you know accountable to, to his assignments and what he's supposed to do and wants to be good and he works hard at it. You know, so anytime you have a guy like that, I think they just keep improving the more coaching they get. Can you talk about the improvement in what you've seen with the offensive line, especially the freshmen that got the game against Haskell? It was important to get the freshmen some snaps in there because a lot of those guys are, you know, teetering around that too deep, either in, either solidly in the too deep or around there, and, and so that's why, you know, th th those snaps become very valuable. Get get them game snaps, and um, you know, it, it, it's a long season, and you, you know, you need, need to stay healthy. So um, we're really pleased with the, with their progression. It. it you know, to be a freshman and play um, on the offensive line at the line of scrimmage, that's that's hard. That's, that's probably the hardest place to do it. You know, that, those are grown men up there. And, you know, I, I think we definitely recruited the right guys. We have guys that we, we feel really good about that they can do that for us right now. And, and I think they'll just keep moving forward. Coach, uh, their quarterback, Mackenzie Milton, uh, he played, uh, he was a starter last year. What have you seen on the tape as far as his growth this season? What concerns you about him? And I guess, with the type of offense that UCF runs, what becomes more of a priority for you guys defensively? He, he's a dangerous player. I mean, he he can, you know, beat you throwing it and running. He, he's, you know, last year we played him as his first start, his first first start in college, and, and so obviously he's got a whole season of games under his belt now. I think he's you know a different player that way of understanding you know their offense, what they want to do. Um, but he, you know, he's elusive. He scrambles. He's, he's hard to, you know. Get down on the ground, and, and when he scrambles, he keeps his eyes down the field as well. And he, he had, a lot of his big plays come from scrambling out of the pocket, kind of broken plays, or buying time, and launching the ball down the field. So we, we've got to do a great job of, of, of you know, managing that with, with with how we handled up front, and, and also you know, staying in coverage down the field because that's you know, a lot of what they do come come off of big plays that way. Yeah, um, you know, going up this year. I mean, they, again, they have they have they have one game from this year, and and I I think as a team as a whole, you, you can see improvement in all areas as you would expect. Um, um, you know, I don't, I don't know uh, how, how that your, plays into it. Your, your team. Our team. No, no. Oh, okay, I see. All right, I didn't understand your yeah, question. No, back, okay. back how our offensive line? They've been, you know, I know it, it's always. Kind of goes that way, and everyone says, but it's the truth. You know, like they're, they're, it's not talked about as much, right? So you talk about quarterbacks, and running backs, receivers, and all that. I think, yeah, our offensive line is, they've, they've you know, played terrific so far, and we, we got to keep improving and getting better. I, I think the challenges keep going, going up each week. But um, in terms of pass protection, they, they've been really good assignment-wise, getting hat on the hat. I think, you know, um, 
run wise as well. And uh, you know, they, they, we have faced a lot of different defenses, even in two games. There's been a lot of stuff thrown at us. They've done a good job with it. And so it's good those guys are an experienced unit. They're, they're all guys that have, have played together, really. Um, you know, Sean Christie's the one new starter that wasn't, wasn't really uh, in the mix that much in offensive line last year. But um, he's done a great job in playing in there. And so, you know, yeah, we put a lot on those guys, and that, that's we're, we're going to lean on them for sure. I, I think that's where the game's won or lost on the line of scrimmage. As far as DJ goes, one stat that's been talked about a lot is just his ability to break tackles. Um, you know, we see it a lot last game, first game. Um, just as a defensive coach, what do you see from him that you know gives him that ability to show all these tackles? And you know, in any of your previous stops, have you, have you had any other receiver like that where you coached against him? Yeah, DJ just um, he's a physical guy. I mean, he, he's you know he's he's built big for a receiver. And, and, and still has the ability to run and change direction. And I mean, he's, he's kind of athletically, you don't see many guys like that. And, and again, I'll go back to, I think it's just, it's, it's about his determination, his work ethic. He's a competitor. Um, you know, when he, when, he, when he catches that ball, he, he wants to do something with it. That's a mindset. You know, some guys catch the ball and want to get to the ground and, and he, he doesn't. You know, he wants to catch the ball and, and gain yards and make something happen with it. So, um, you know, certainly, certainly a lot of work's been put in that by him. I, I think, you know, he, he's earned all that. and. We're gonna keep keep trying to give him the ball. I want you to take over control. Take over control.